I've never finished writing anything like this. I've never even attempted such a big project in my entire life. And now it's really done. Spider-Man. Hi friends. Uh, I am now leaving my mom's after getting some boba. The pup's in the background somewhere. Jack, what are you doing? <laughs> if you were in my stream, the last one that I was did, you knew I was having some issues with my mom. But luckily that's all resolved now. So I feel better than ever <laughs> ever you can tell i'm back at my house because my accent comes back really strong this is from boba loca in the valley so good there's a reason i'm writing about the valley it's my favorite place anyway now you may be asking yourself micah did you have a hard deadline on the 2nd of february and i do i sent john an email which i will read to you in full when i get home uh because I love having that sort of shit on video. But TLDR, I asked him to schedule a lesson with me on the 2nd of February. And by the 2nd of February, which is a Wednesday, next Wednesday to be exact, I need to bring in a song and also the rough draft of the show. He wants it a couple of days early because I do want him to kind of read it before we jump into the song. The only issue I'm having with that right now is that I haven't written anything. Not since the 24 hour stream. And I know I covered this in my last vlog, but the 24 hour stream, great for productivity. I wrote over 10,000 words. I finished the entirety of act one, but I was in a hangover and couldn't write for days because I was so tired from staying up all night because I'm not young anymore. I've been thinking a lot about the show. I've been thinking lots about other ideas and other shows I wanna write because I'm starting to get nervous that I'm not gonna finish this one. But I think for the next couple of days, I'm gonna be doing extra long streams to make sure I am fully done writing. You may be asking yourself, why don't you just write when you're not streaming? Well, that defeats the purpose of live streaming the writing process, which is what I do. And also it's very hard to write alone. I don't particularly enjoy it. Gotta have someone hold me accountable. All right, well, I'll check in with you when I get home. I have a long drive of which I'm probably not gonna be able to get any footage because I don't have a fancy thing on my dashboard. I actually have like my phone propped up on some like knickknacks <laughs> that I have kind of chilling here. So with that, I'll check in with you when I get home. Adieu. is currently 11 53 a.m i have kate on in the background i left my glasses in the car so even though i can see everything is slightly off focus which i think is more annoying than not being able to like see you know what i'm saying i did promise i was gonna read you john's emails yesterday i didn't uh because i got here very late and then i was really sleepy so i'm going to do that now uh I set up my little coffee tea corner. It looks really nice. Also, I have a trash can down there, which is honestly the best addition to this whole thing. My brain is just like, let me show you all these things. So that's my email. And then here's John's. You can tell like, I'm just like all uppercase and exclamation points. And he's very, very sweet. Um, you can pause to read the emails, but I do want to read to you one specific part that he said. He's also a writer and he's also actively writing not only musicals, but novels. So he did have something very cool to say. It says, congrats on pushing yourself to finish a first draft. I'm doing this 90 days to done program. You tell her how many words you want your novel to be. Divide that by three months of writing days. And each day you have to write that many words. For me, it's about 1300. One of the things they say is don't stop just write. The goal is to just finish it. It's going to be rough. Know that going in. 
It's about finishing and not inhibiting your creative process, worrying it has to be perfect. Just finish it, get to the end, then go back. And then he says, I'm only on day four, but I find it very freeing. <laughs> I think it's so funny that he like drops these nuggets of wisdom and then he'll be like, just for me though. Like he didn't just like do some huge revelation. And that's honestly one of my favorite things about working with John is that anytime I think that I'm like in outlining hell or that I am just like have been trudging along with lyrics, I have like 10, 12 drafts of the same song. He pulls out a notebook and he's like, yeah, <laughs> I have the exact same thing. It does in fact take that long to do that. And there is something really comforting about that. You know, I also think that I'm very afraid to jump back in. I am notorious for being stuck in like planning hell and having this like planning anxiety, almost like not inhibition is the wrong word, but like trepidation, fear anxiety like i have so much anxiety jumping back in into the project and i hold myself back because i feel like i'm not ready and so i'll ruminate and i'll be stuck in that planning stage forever but today after almost i would say a week of not writing anything i am going to tackle act two i've already started writing that gotta write all of that i know the ending is going to be different 30 by 30 is a concept that's no longer going to be there so I know I'm gonna have to rewrite the first scene and the last scene. So the plan is for this week to spend a lot of time writing. I'm gonna probably stream longer days and have it done by the 31st, which is six days from today, this baby should be done. And then on Wednesday, which is the second, I want to spend Tuesday writing a song. I haven't written a song since August for the show. So I'm feeling kind of nervous, but I think I can do it. Stream starts in about 18 minutes. So I will catch up with you at the end of it. Let me show you some quick updates because I wrote half of act two today. There are 12 scenes in act two. I wrote six of them today. In six sprints, which were 30 minutes each, I wrote half a 10K day, over 5,000 words. I have written through all these scenes and I mapped out how the domino should fall for the truth scene to be revealed. And now I just have a rush to the end. The last chance for our hero, the 11 o'clock number, the the end of it, and then that's it. It's literally over. It's almost done. It's, it's almost fucking done. I'm gonna be done with this musical tomorrow. Holy fucking shit. Don't get me wrong. During the stream, your girl was legitimately crying, puking, screaming, shitting, you know, that whole TikTok meme, uh, full blown. Um, it, I, oh my god, every, nothing is working. I'm literally shaking. It's because like, oh my god. Writing these characters, I have a tripod, but I'm just too anxious. Writing these characters and putting them, like, okay. The scene that I am writing right now is not comedic. The way I see the scene in my mind is a mixture of Your Fault from Into the Woods and the scene from Crazy Stupid Love, the movie from 2011, where everything gets revealed and people get literally punched. That's what I'm thinking. I've always had the crazy stupid love scene. That's something that I always wanted. I knew I wanted kind of like a big reveal where every every card gets shown at the same time. And then after listening to the It's Your Fault by Into the Woods again, which is a show I know vaguely, I don't, I don't really know it very well. And I haven't, it's just not my favorite song time, but I did listen to it recently and it hit me like this is a mixture of those things. I can't believe it. The story is almost done. There are still so many things I don't know. 
The characters are so morally gray. Alejandra is just doing everything wrong. I, I love these characters because they're unlikable and because they're likable and because they're just like us and it really really feels like the struggle between representation and like having an accurate emotional truth part of me is like does alejandra even get to reprimand megan about lying to her about cheating i i wish if you were there on stream you know all of the plot points you know what i'm thinking you know the drama and i just don't have the time to cover it in this vlog but also like it's just not something that would be in this vlog this is a progress vlog and the progress is, is that we are six scenes into act two. I have six scenes left. I have two reprises. I just wrote the biggest scene in act two. And now it's just a rush. It's just a fucking rush. Can't believe it. It's going to be done tomorrow. It's going to be done tomorrow. I'm literally, my emotions are just all over the place, but we are, we are so close. I'm so happy with the amount of work I got done today. And this, this is honestly the reason I outline. I am very much, have always been a writer to prompt. I write to prompt. I'm very good at writing to prompt. So while it took me forever to come up with this and as I'm writing it, I'm realizing that there's a lot of little tweaks and, and work that needs to get done to get there. I can see the end for the first time. I can see the end and like legitimately see the end in my writing. We are 152 pages in. I do think that my estimate of 190 is going to be right. It might even be less, maybe 180. I mean, it's obviously gonna, Actually, I think it's going to get shorter in length once the lyrics come in. Maybe it might get longer. Who knows? Who knows? That's the update for today. It's so exciting. Like my heart is literally pulsing. I wish I could finish it right now, but I'm tired and I know I need a break and I'll come back tomorrow and finish it. That's the goal. Tomorrow during the stream, it's over. It's fucking over. Tomorrow, after the end of the stream, you will see me fully realized and I will have conquered this fucking beast. I do have to say, I am so proud of these three post-its. The dialogue here, when people enter, when people punch each other, when the reveal gets made, it all feels like this huge domino effect. And it took forever to set up in act one, but in act two, it's absolutely delicious because it all comes together. Also, fun fact, th before I forget, this is actually a really cool little thing I got to add. Oh my God, I keep saying I'm gonna end it and then I don't. I learned a really, really cool Filipino word or Filipino phrase called puera usog. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. It's called go away curse. Michelle's Filipino and in our chat, uh, Joe, or if you are on Twitch, it's at Yo Crazy Face. They suggested this. They're Filipino and they're gonna be reading for me for the show for that character. And I love that I actually got to use this in the last scene. I think it's so good. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling because I can ramble forever. And also, I lost my glasses. I didn't lose them. They're in my. They're in my husband. They're in. They're. They're in the car and I was having a hard time seeing. I'm turning off this computer because that will actually make me get up. I'm the exception of what? I'm turning off these lights and I will see you tomorrow. It's done. It's done. The last phrase is stupid. Um, it needs a lot of work still. But the musical Drive Zero is done. Five days before deadline, baby. Woo, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> It's on the page now. Sitting at 32,382 words. It's done. It's a very, very rough, very, very, very rough zero draft that is nowhere near presentable for me to send to John. That last print was 1,130 words. 
but it is it is done <laughs> and i got my ending rosa says she's sorry and shit this is fiction i get to write the ending that i want <laughs> i mean i'm crying of joy but like i said i'm all water so it's all tears all the time <laughs> Let me export this as a PDF. <laughs> I really can't believe it's done. I've never finished writing anything like this. I've never even attempted such a big project in my entire life. And now it's really done. There's so much revision to do. This needs so much work. You can't see it right now. Let me let me show you what I'm looking at. <laughs> Cause it's a mess. It's like name of musical. I haven't even filled out this section represented by, I don't even have an agent. I don't even have the cast or the settings or the production notes yet. I mean, acknowledgements, the Twitch chat. <laughs> and then there it is 186 pages my god <laughs> I can't believe it's done <laughs> I would be sobbing right now <laughs> if I was live on the internet <laughs> thank you guys for being so proud it really really helps <laughs> other guys this first finished draft ever is always a shocker but you did it I did it I really can't believe it I couldn't have done it with all of y'all. Pixie says, might I suggest some calming tea and a snack? Well, I definitely haven't eaten, so it's probably why I'm so emotional. <laughs> Alright, let's let's go sp <laughs> JC, so proud of you. You did something really amazing. Thank you guys for being so nice and and so supportive and I can't believe it's done. <laughs> It's really, really, really done. It's so crazy. Hi, good morning. The heater is currently running. I'm waiting for it to die down, but I have work to get done. Today is Thursday, January 27th at 8.32 a.m. I have been up for a while since around 6.30, trying to get ready for work. I made breakfast, all that stuff. Today is my non-musical day. My January break is over. And before I started working today, you obviously know from the previous part of the vlog that I finished my musical. I really want this heater to turn off. It is so annoying, my God. There she is. The musical is done. The zero draft is done, which means I technically have five days, including today, really four days before I meet with John and give him the draft. But I did want to say this, I've never ever in the history of my life, so far in my life, have completed a project like this. I never thought I could do it in the sense of like, I would always tell like my English teachers and stuff, like I'm really good at writing at prompt. I don't really have original ideas or you know, if somebody tells me how to write then or tells me what to write then I can write it and then when I was doing songwriting I would obviously write a lot about my life and yesterday it really proved to me that I can write an original idea that I do have it within me to do that and that I can finish that I can see it all the way through yes I started this project in May from May to August when I was preparing for the BMI deadline I had bones in a bag that I was shaking around and it's like, this will be something one day. And yesterday, I finally have the bones in the skeleton and now it's time to like build muscle and ligaments and like a brain, give it a heart. All those things are coming in the rewrite. And like, now we get to just like, you know, essentially polish it and well, it, it needs way more than polish. I need to make like the diamond first or the piece of coal or whatever the expression is. But for me, it's like I went from having bones in a bag to having a skeleton. And that is like so big. There are so many revisions. So not only am I printing the like 
actual script. I'm also going to be printing all my script notes and I'm going to be the next couple of days inserting all of those scenes into a new final draft document. Can't believe I'm gonna start a second final draft document. I can't believe I'm gonna be starting draft one of the show in, still in January, still in January. Like I, I finished January, like obviously I didn't write 50,000 words, but a musical being 50,000 words is an impossibility really for, for most shows, unless you're like Hamilton or something. But yeah, it's, it's there. It's now time to start the actual like writing process, translation process. I have some Filipino in my show. I have a lot of Spanish in my show. I think I finally solved the Rosa issue about language. I've solved the Javier issue. I really think that he's going to be unlikable in like a likable way. No one is is morally centered in this show. Everyone everyone is complex and everyone is eh, wrong. I definitely 100% want these characters to be grown up and I want them to make bad decisions. I want them to be morally gray because don't put your heroes on pedestals and put your characters on pedestals. They are complex. Someone like me, someone like your favorite YouTuber or your favorite artist or whatever, they've done morally wrong things. That's because people have complex decision trees which affect other people than themselves. And in this almost Puritan way that we consume media at this point, in kind of our modern discourse of what media is and tying our morality to it. There is this fear of cancellation by, I'm not saying cancel culture is wrong. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying there's this fear of the author being seen as like, this is a reflection of the author's actual desires. And it's like, no, this musical is a piece of fiction. Like, yes, it takes elements from my real life. It takes elements that I've completely fictionalized. I've never worked in a coffee shop in my entire fucking life. But it also, you know, it, it melches aspects of real life and puts them in a fictional place. None of these characters, many of the, okay. So many of these characters when I started were based off people that I know in real life. By the end of the zero draft, none of these characters resemble any of anyone that kind of gave me the ideas to write these characters. They are their own human beings now, their own characters. And I think that's something that we need to stop doing. It's fiction. <laughs> it doesn't represent how I think. It's just putting my characters in a simulation and making them be messy. Instead of playing The Sims, I wrote a musical. Right away. That's my thoughts. I have to get back to work and I will check in with you tonight if I get the manuscript or tomorrow. <laughs>
thanks babe <laughs> folder one. Oh my god this is so heavy folder one of like i don't know how many drafts but hopefully less 